Glory to God. So number six is, he works when we are active and not lazy. Laziness, my friend, is not part of Christianity. When you're lazy, the devil will come and sow discords. He will sow things into your life that will bring you down. So God wants to be active in his kingdom. If you don't pray, if you don't stay in the word of God, if you don't go to church, what happened? Weed start growing on your house. And your house become a house where weed will take you down. The Bible said little foxes that spoil the vine. And if you are lazy, my friend. Those foxes will get big and big, and as, and as soon as you'll be out of control, because what? Because you become lazy. So we will be active. Hey, glory to God. When you're active, no time for the devil, glory to God, to sow discord or sow anything that will bring you down. Hey, glory to God. And number seven, he works in truth because he's a spirit of truth and of lie. Amen. The Holy Ghost is the spirit of truth, my friend. The flesh is lies and fantasy and fables and, and, and uh, fabrication. But the Holy Spirit is a spirit of truth. The false prophets are false because they are living a life of lies. The father of lies. But the spirit of truth is the Holy Spirit. He's a spirit of truth. He glory to God. Number eight reason, he works and labor for bringing peace in the midst of confusion. He labor to bring peace, my friend, because he's a prince of peace. But in labor, he works to bring peace in the midst of a storm. That's why when a storm was boisting, Jesus Christ said, peace, be still. Oh, glory to God. And if you're living a life of confusion, I introduce you to the Holy Spirit. I could introduce you to the spirit of truth that will give you peace in the midst of confusion. Tranquility, my friend. Hey, glory to God. Amen. Number eight, number nine, he works in the living, not the dead. He restore dead bones as in Ezekiel 37, as the breath of God. Breathe on those dry bones. So if your person want life, I introduce you to the Holy Spirit. He's a dry bone here. The word of the Lord. And I'm telling people, if you're trying to live this Christian life, you got to hear the word of God. You got to hear so God can breathe on you the breath of life. Your dry bones was dead. And Ezekiel said, God, you knoweth. And God breathed on them. And those dry bones came together and lived. And the Bible said there was army. He glory to God. So I'm telling you, if you are dry bone, if you're in dry bone situation in your life, I introduce you to hear forth the word of God. The word of God will make you live. When you are dead, how about glory to God? Amen. So the breath of God, it'll make you live. Number 10, and I'm gone, is he is the life to those that want to live for God. Don't think we are we are, are living the life without the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is life because Jesus Christ is life. And if you don't have the Spirit of God, you are none of His. You have religion. Hey, glory to God. You have Ikamasanda, because you made those tongues up. But I'm talking about life. Life begins with the Holy Ghost. And if you don't have the Holy Ghost, you, the Bible says you are none of His. The Bible says the flesh wrestles against the Spirit, and these are contrary one to another. Glory to God, when I do good, evil is always present, but you let the good override the evil because the Holy Spirit is in your life. People are struggling, struggling with, with sin. Hey, glory to God. And the struggle take you under because the Holy Spirit, glory to God, 
will give you a way for you to escape so you can bear it. Hey, glory to God. But if you don't have the Holy Spirit, you keep on drinking. If you have the if you don't have the Holy Ghost, you keep on fornicating. If you don't have the Holy Ghost, you keep on clubbing. Hey, glory. If you don't have the Holy Ghost, you keep on banqueting. But if you have the Holy Spirit, it gives you a conscience. Hey, glory to God. Romans uh, chapter 9, verse 1. The Bible said, my, my conscience bear witness with the Holy Ghost. And how to live a life in His presence. A clean life, you got to have the conscience of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost get in your conscience and it will tell you that it's wrong. Apologize. See you sorry. Hey, glory to God. But if you don't have the Holy Ghost, you keep on doing wrong after wrong after wrong and have no conviction in your life. Because the Holy Ghost give, brings conviction. Hey, glory to God. You know that man is married. Hey, glory to God. Why you are going out with him on break time? You know that ma the man is married. Why are you calling his cell phone? You know that man is married. Why are you inviting him into your room? Amen. But if you don't have the Holy Ghost, you continue in sin. And the Bible said the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. The Bible says, shall, shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. How shall we live any longer therein? I'm talking about the Holy Ghost. Hey, the Holy Ghost is not about dancing. Hey, glory to you. It's not about gifts. But the Holy Ghost is a life of living in His presence. That's the Holy Ghost. Amen. The Holy Ghost is living a life respectful in God's presence, not just in your private life but in your personal life. Life where everybody can see how you're living for God. And the reason why I say that, the Bible say, we are we are the little Jesus walking in this land. And he glory to God. The Bible say, let your light shine that men may see your good work and glorify the Father which is in heaven. So it's not about you. We are living epistles. Amen. But people don't read the Bible. They ought to be reading us. Because we are representation, we are ambassadors of the kingdom of God. So if you're living a life, have the Holy Spirit, have the Holy Ghost. Someone might ask, how can I have the Holy Ghost? What is, what is, what is the, the process of having the Holy Ghost? I'm so glad you asked. In Acts 2.38, repent and be baptized. Every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, and he shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. It's a gift that's given to every believer that believe in the manifestation of the Trinity of the triune God. He glory to God. So the Holy Ghost is the third person of the Trinity of the triune God, the Godhead, the manifestation of the plurality of God. And if you don't believe in the Trinity, you are Antichrist. And you are none of his. Because the Holy Spirit is the breath. Is the breath of God. Is the characteristic of God. Hey, glory to God. And if you're trying to live a clean life in his presence, hey, glory to God, you must have the Spirit of God. Nicodemus came to Jesus Christ by night. And Jesus Christ said, to Nicodemus, was born of flesh is flesh, was born of spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I said thee, you must be born again. The wind bloweth where it listed, and thou hear the sound thereof, but can tell where it's going or where it's coming. So is everyone that is born of the spirit. So I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, hey, glory to God, you must have the Holy Spirit. And the spirit is your conscience. The spirit is the is the seventh sense. Hey, glory to God. The spirit will show you things to come to pass. So it's the prophet 
within you. It's a discernment to know who are fake and who are real. Because we are, have a lot of people that say they're real. But if you have the Holy Spirit, it discern error. It discern truth. It discern righteousness. Hey, glory to God. And it discern who is fake or who is real. So I'm introducing you to the Holy Spirit. Because Holy Spirit, my friend, to, to be entered into, into the kingdom of God. Jesus Christ said, Verily, verily, I send thee as a man be born of the water and the spirit. He can enter into the kingdom of God. So you must have the Holy Spirit. You must. I know people say that the man on the cross, he he's said, Today thou shalt remember me in paradise. But that man was on the cross with Jesus. <laughs> Glory to God. So you have an opportunity now so that God can breathe the Holy Spirit on you. <sighs> Receive the Holy Spirit. <sighs> and God will give it to you if you ask him. It's a gift. It's the best gift to have for Christmas. Hey, Glory to God. If you're trying to give your loved one a gift, Give them the introduction of the Holy Spirit. Until then, I'm so glad you took the time to listen to the prophet. Until then, may God bless you richly is my prayer. Don't forget, subscribe to my video. Peace.